I'm also Chucky Tim, and today's show is going to be a review of these. These right here. I saw these at the store a couple weeks ago. They caught my eye, and I figured, you know what? Let's buy them. Let's check them out. You know, summer's over, unfortunately, but we still got some hot days outside. It is about 76 degrees right now in Wisconsin, so it's pretty warm for October. Um, so let's check these out. So. These are the original Bomb Pop Extreme Fire Cherry. It's a spice to nice. So the back of the box here you can read. You can see that it starts out hot and uh, eventually cools off. So I think the packaging is really cool. I like, I like everything about it. Um, good marketing. I like the fire cherries. Like I said, I like the back right here, those faces, those emoji faces. And the fact that this spiced and ice. Yeah, so let's check it out. Do it! Just do it! All right, I'm gonna grab one here, put the rest in the freezer here. Ah, I'll put them away later. So I hopped online, you can see just like the back of the box, it starts out hot and spicy, then mild heat, and then sweet. So, um, now looking at it, I guess there's three different flavors you can get. So I went with the cherry. Uh, the, the other ones look pretty cool, the blue and the green. Let's check those out as well. Okay, let's see how this goes here. So I'm looking at the ingredients for the heat source. I don't see anything that jumps out at me that would cause any sort of heat. Half the stuff I've never even heard of. Maybe you guys have. This is funny here. This product, when extremely cold, may stick to warm lips or tongue. <laughs> Allow it to warm slightly before eating. Allow it to warm slightly? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. I get it. Alright, so there is the popsicle. I'm out, so Chunky Tim. Let's do this. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be kind of kid friendly and it's a popsicle. Okay. Great cherry flavor. And yeah, you do get a little sting in the back of the throat. A little sting. Now moving on to the orange. Not getting any heat whatsoever with the orange. And the last one is the yellow. This is going to be the sweet part of it. Okay. Well, the way they described it, they described it to a T. I mean, the, the, the cherry does have some spice to it. I didn't feel it in the back of my throat. Um, it's not a crazy burn. It's not, obviously, it's not a challenge, guys. Um, I mean, but it does have a little sting in the back of the throat. It's kind of like a, like a cinnamon sting. Um, it's very good. Um, obviously, with a popsicle, you're supposed to lick a popsicle. Um, I'm not licking a popsicle on, online. No, not doing that. Um, so it comes in a box of 12. All right, so if you guys are interested in checking out these bomb pops, um, namely the fire chair ones that I reviewed, um, you can get them any grocery store, Piggly Wiggly, Meyer, Walmart, any grocery store is probably going to have them. I don't know if they're like a limited time thing or if it's going to be permanent product from um, Bomb Pop, but um, yeah, I mean, they, they got a little bit of a spice to them. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. Um, so heat scale for me, I'll go ahead and give them a one. 
which I thought would have been a zero, but I'll give him a one because yeah, I did feel a little, little itty bitty burn in the back of the throat. Um, so yeah, I'll probably enjoy these because like I said, we got a couple more warm days here before the uh, snow starts flying. Um, not looking forward to that at all. Till next time, hot sauce chunky Tim and a funeral pepper.